Hello friends, in this video I'm going to teach you how to work with nested models. So let's get started. Now here I've created a new project which is a standalone one. Well you can go for the ng modules one too. Now I have titled it as nested model and cleared everything from the CSS and all other stuff which was there earlier on. Now what am I going to do? I'll simply go to the browser where we have this model one. You simply need to go to ionicframework.com or if you do not know, you can simply search for Ionic Docs and you will get the source link. The first one, click on that, go to components and search for Ion Model. You will get it here. Okay, that is how I got it. Now here, there are a lot of things actually, but what we are going to focus on is the nested model. Nested model thing is not shown here. If you want to learn it, you need to implement it on your own. But what is the design which you are going to implement, which will look pretty cool to work with, right? That's what we need in our design. So I'm going to take the card model here. So if I go to the card model and scroll down, I'll get here, if I click on it, just look at the design. This is looking nice, right? They pop over kind of a stuff, which is looking lovely, I would say. That is why I'm going to use this design, but this is only for iOS, not for material design or the Android one. So I'm going to put the mode to be iOS so that we can use it. Let's try this up. We have the design here or that full stuff where, or the full code actually, which we need to implement. So I'm simply going to copy the whole code here. This is the whole code, which is available. I'm going to copy that and I will get back and replace with my code here. Now, since I'm using standalone one, so I need to import each and everything one by one. So let's do that. I'll just hover on it and it will be imported automatically. Just look at that. This is working, right? So everything is imported. Now there is one thing which is called as presenting element, which is not available here. So we need to work on that in our TS file. So let's go to our TS file and work with that. Now here, what am I going to do? We will again go to the documentation and check it out. So we have the TS file also, which is available. And here in the ng on unit, they have passed the query selector of the iron page. Why it is being used? Because let me just explain you in the HTML one, which we just copied, there is a div here at the very top of the page stuff, which we have the header and the content part. So header and the content part is included within a div that is given a class of iron page. Now why it is being done? That is very much important to achieve the same design which we just saw, right? Now, in order to implement that up, this presenting element is very much important. If you want to learn more about presenting element, then you can simply go to the properties one, I think, yeah. Let's check it out. This is the properties one. We are searching for the presenting element. Please show us quickly. This is the one. Now, this element, is the one that presented the model, okay? This is used for card presentation, that's what we need. And for stacking multiple models on top of each other, that is why this is very much important. And it only applies for iOS mode, so we are going to give the mode to be iOS, remember that. So I think you are clear about this. Let me just format the document. If you don't have this stuff, you can install it in Visual Studio Code. Now, I need to just have this in my TS file. Let me just define it here, presenting element which will be equals to null initially and in the ng on in it i'm going to again initialize that to certain value so this dot presenting element equals to document dot query selector where i'm going to pass the class of ion page that's what the name of our class is right so now i'm getting an error here that is because it is not given any type. It is taking by default the type of like element or null. So I want it to be passed as any so that it can take any kind of a value. Okay. Once you're done with that, we are smoothly going to go ahead with the testing part. Okay. So if I click on this card model, let me first change the HTML. In the HTML, I will change this to nested model. That's what we are going to implement. So I want that title to be the same, right? Okay, now open card model and you can just check the design. It's looking lovely, right? I'm loving it. So one thing is done. Let me call it open model one. So the first model is ready. Now I'm going to implement the same model once again. And for doing that, what am I going to do? I will simply copy this model 
and paste it one more time but everything is same here right which we can't keep like the trigger one open model i'm not going to use trigger because if we use trigger two times it's not going to work properly but i'll still show you let me call it model two and this one also model two okay now the first one instead of open model let me call it model one and here also i'll call it model one now here the id i need to change it to model one now for this particular functionality we change it to model one because this is now the identifier for this particular ion model so we need to change this to ion model one now it's going to work so it's going to call the dismiss function and other functions that are available within the model one you can directly call that methods here directly okay I hope it's clear to you. If you want to learn more about methods and everything, you can simply go to methods part and you will get dismiss, get current, breakpoint, on the dismiss, on will dismiss. You can call all these functions here. But if you want to go to the TypeScript and work on that, then you have to do something different, okay? Which I have shown in my earlier videos. You can simply check it out. If you do not know, let me know in the comment section and I'll help you out with that. Now, two things we have prepared. Let's check it out. What's wrong here? Okay, so this will be model2 dot dismiss function that's gonna be fine and anything else we need to do this will be model2 the title and this will be model1 i hope you are not getting confused regarding this don't worry your confusion will be gone away and i'm passing the same ele presenting element because we are already accessing that particular div otherwise i have to give something from this particular model which i don't want it right now okay so our two models are ready let's check it out if I click on one model, okay, okay, I haven't given anything for this particular model, means the trigger one. I'm not calling it anywhere. So if I try to call it somewhere, let's say to this particular ion item, I'll pass here the ID equals to, let's say model two. I think that's the ID. Yeah, that is the trigger one, which we have. So model two I have passed here now if i try it out let me open the lock one also so that we can see whether there is any error or not well there is some warning which is coming up that this particular trigger element with the id model 2 was not found in the dom so it is not available in that particular dom that is why it won't be able to i think access it up if i try it if i click on it see it's not working so we can understand from this that the trigger one will not work here for the second model opening and for doing that means to make that work i'm going to implement some other functionality i'll pass a click event here and on click of it i'll apply some functionality let's say is second model open okay this is somewhat i will prepare in my typescript here i'm going to prepare it equals to false by default that means it will not open and i'm going to use is open instead of trigger to access this up now what it does is it does the same stuff as trigger one it is going to open the model but on a condition basis which was not available in trigger one it will only work when you pass the id so this is very much uh, easier to work with you can try with the model one also in the same way okay i think we are good to go with that let's try it or yeah on click of this close one i'm not going to dismiss it instead i will what i'll do is is second model equals to false that's what i'm going to do i'm going to set it to false so that it will be dismissed automatically i think everything is good to go i just want to recheck everything then i will go ahead and work with it on click of it is model will be set to true this is in the model one which i am doing i hope you're not getting confused regarding this now if i try it out let's open this up i'm not getting any warning now for the trigger one and if I click on the model one, model one is opened up. If I click on this item, because I have given it here, I'm not given it anywhere else. If I click on this item, you can see model two is getting opened up. So it's working, right? This is one way of working with the model one. But if you don't want to work in this particular way and you want the components to be divided differently, then what you exactly need to do. What I mean to say is, you don't want to pass the whole content here, some content you have it in some other component uh, files right then what you have to do so in order to show you that part i'm going to create two components here so i'm going to use ionic g c c for component and within the home folder i'm going to create a component called comp one 
I'll hit enter. It will be created here. Okay, this is the component one. And similarly, I'm going to create one more component. I'll name it as component comp2. Now, in these components, I'm going to pass the content that we have here for model one and model two. Basically, it will include the header and content part, the whole stuff within the ng template. I'm going to simply cut it and pass it in comp1. Comp1, let's do that in this particular way. Don't worry about the errors. We are going to fix that up in some time. And for component two, let me cut this one and pass it in comp two. Okay, in this particular way. All right. Once we are done with that, let's get rid of the error. For getting rid of the error, I'll go to comp1 component.ts file where at first let me remove this ng on it, not needed now. This one too and have here standalone to be true along with that the imports i'm going to pass in this particular way and i'm not going to do anything else let's go to our comp1.html file and hover on each one one by one it will be taken automatically in this particular way just check this out okay one by one remember okay it's working right great all right that's great in fact great good all right, now what am I going to do? I'm going to use the output decorator in order to like trigger an event because on click of it, I cannot directly pass model one dot dismiss. I have to access that particular model one, which is not available here, right? And for accessing that up, simply I'm going to remove this code and let me pass close function here that will be called and on click of this particular item also, what I'll do, let me remove it, enter model two. Let me give that functionality. Let's work on that in the TypeScript one. So I'm going to pass here the two functions, close function and one more was enter model two function. Okay, the error is gone from comp1, comp1 is done. Let's enter comp2ts file where I'm going to again pass here standalone to be true. This is only required in the standalone one. If you're using the ng modules one, you don't need to pass standalone to be true or something. You can directly pass these components in your home page modules file in the, I think declaration section. Okay, just pass in the array, import it up. You're good to go. You can use it directly. Now, I'll pass here the imports as an empty one. Remove the ng on it, not needed. Fine. This one also I'll remove it. Have I removed it from here? No. Let me remove it. Things which are not needed, don't keep it. Now simply hover on it one by one and you're good to go. Just the way I'm doing right now is simply hover on it. Okay. And that's it. We are almost done. For the click one, what am I going to do? Let me remove this and I'm going to pass here close function once again but this is for this particular component okay don't mix it up this is component 2 I'm going to call here the close function okay the errors are gone now we have our stuff ready but it will not work why let me tell you because we have not given any functionality yet so if I try to call model 1 now if there is no data here we haven't passed anything in our home page HTML one yet in this particular ones. So in order to access that up, I need to go to the home page TS file and in the imports one, if you're using ng modules, go to your a home page modules file and in the declaration one, simply import it. Now I'm simply going to go for comp one component and comp two component. Both of them are imported. What's the error? Okay, fine. It is imported properly. No errors. We are good to go. Now, if I try to use it in my home page, I can directly use it up. App comp1. Okay. And here I will pass app comp2. Simple, right? So far, so good. Now, let's try it up. If I click on it, the model one is opening up. But if you can see, the whole stuff is not coming up. We had, I think, three to four items. But it is not coming up. What is the problem here? 
in order to fix this problem, we need to do this small thing, which is very important for you to understand. I need to go to comp one HTML file and in the ion content here, what happens is that to show the whole stuff, you need to pass full screen to be true here. If you don't pass that full screen to be true, it's gonna show you in the same way. Okay. That doesn't happen if you pass it directly into the iron model stuff. But if you are working with so many things, it's not necessary that you crowd this code too much in one file, which is not a good coding practice. Okay. Now, if I click on it, just check it out. All the items are opening up and we need to do the same thing in our component to one. Also, let me pass it here. We are good to go. This problem is sorted. Now the only thing that is left is to communicate from model one click of that particular item and open the model to and even close that. In order to achieve that, I'm going to use the output decorator here. Now here I need to use two decorators. So it's going to be enter and exit decorators means uh, these are the properties which I'm going to use. This is the output decorator which will emit an event. So it is of type even em emitter. Okay. Both of them are imported properly. Once that is done, whenever the close function is called means whenever the click is called for closing the model, I'm going to emit the exit event dot emit pass as true. So whenever this particular event is getting emitted, I'm going to close the model, which I'm going to do just now. But before that, for opening the model, second model, I'm going to use the enter one. This is what enter dot emit. It's going to emit an event called true. That's it. Now I will go to home page HTML one where what I will do is I need to simply pass here. You can see the properties are coming up. These are the events that are getting triggered. So for the enter one, what I'll do here is is second model open equals to true. That's what I'm going to pass and for exit, which needs to be passed in this particular way because we are emitting an event. Now for closing it up, I'll pass model one dot dismiss. So simple, right? I hope you're grabbing it. It's the same stuff, but we are doing it in such a way that it is more dynamic and easy to use. Fine. Now for comp two, let me just show you the model one at first. If I click on it, you see model one is opening up. If I click on close, it is getting closed. If I click on once again and click on this particular one, you can see model two is also opened up in the same way as model one. It is on top of model one right now because we have given presenting element to be the same one. I'm not passing the presenting element of the model one. All right. Now I'll go to com two here. Let's go there. And what exactly I need to work with is I just need the closing one. So let me pass here the same stuff only the exit one. The name is not a problem because this is a different component which we are working with. And I'm going to do the same here exit dot emit and pass anything, any value. I'm not checking this value so you can pass any value here you want. Or if you don't pass a value still, it's fine, but it's better to emit something. Okay. I'll go to the home page once again. And here I can simply pass exit in which I will set is second model equals to false and the model will get away with that. Let's try it now. So open model one, model one is opened up. I will click on this particular one. Model two is also opened up. If I close model two, still we have model one here. If I close the model one, we are into the home page. So we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button to subscribe to the channel. If you're new here and do watch my courses and the code scripts that I have already prepared for you guys. All the links are there in the description and in the pinned comment too. Go and check that right now. And if you want to learn more about how to work with Razor Pay payment gateways or the Stripe payment gateways or some other UI stuff, you can check all the videos. It's available here also. And some links are available in the description. With that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video right here, right now. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'm going to see you next time.